Hi, New York Avenue families. Uh, I have some blocks here and I'm just gonna go over a couple of math-based activities that you could do with your child at home over the next few weeks. Um, any kind of blocks would do. This would be really fun to do with Legos or if you had foam blocks. Um, so I just have a set of wood blocks here. And one thing that's really fun to work on with blocks is patterning. So just a simple AB pattern, like green, yellow, green, yellow, green, yellow. Uh, you could have your child complete the pattern, or if that seems too easy for them, you could ask them to create a pattern. It doesn't have to be an AB pattern. It could be something like blue, blue, red, blue, blue, red, and so on. Um, if you don't have blocks at home, this is also a fun activity to do with like spoons and forks or socks and shoes, any combination of household items, you can work on patterning and that could be really fun. Another activity that you could do with blocks are comparing towers and using some language that we would use for measuring. So let's say if I built a tower here and I built another one here and I said to my preschooler, which tower is taller? And they would be able to tell me this one. And then you might be able to expand on that and ask questions like, which tower has more blocks, which has fewer? And just incorporate some of that language during your block play over the next few weeks while you're home with your child. It can be fun and it can be a great learning experience.